Good afternoon and uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen to this uh, virtual rush hour event. I'm, uh, I'm Ian and this is my virtual take on the Alaman Railways. Um, very, very happy to be taking part. Uh, thank you to the, uh, the Heritage Railways group for, uh, for asking me to do this. Um, it's a project I've been working on for a couple of years. It was mainly just for my own, my own enjoyment during the, the cold winter months when I couldn't get out fishing. Um, so yeah, it's using Train Simulator. There's no Isle of Man stock or scenery available on that particularly, particular platform. So uh, I've had to make do with standard gauge locos and, and things like that, but I've tried to recreate things as, as faithfully as possible. It's a, a kind of spin as if, as if it was, you know, in existence today. What would it look like? Um, so, you know, the scenery reflects that. Um, I've used things like J.C. Boyd's book um, for, for research, as almost also the Henry's Manx Northern Railway book. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy the trip. It's only a short one, but uh, hopefully I'll uh, be able to waffle on about a few interesting things along the way. And here we go. So we're currently standing uh, in the uh, the Foxdale Terminus part of St John's Station. So see we have the water tower there and the signal. We've got the building, which is still in existence, now a private dwelling. I do believe the uh, the shed is still standing as well. There is a shed there. I don't know whether it's the original one or not. I've obviously visited the site. Dumble's uh, gravel siding, which of course would have been connected at one point. There would have been a, a siding running off here to, to collect things. If you look over here, we've got the uh, the actual St John's, the main terminus. So you've got the line running in from Douglas under the uh, under the Foxdale Railway. Got the carriage. So, uh, the carriage shed, the points box back there. We've got the Clementsons in their uh, separate siding, a bit overgrown. And a train waiting to head off to Ramsey there. Of course, you can see uh, St John's Church in the background. The Farmer's Arms. And Slawolly in there. So yeah, let's head on. Head, we'll, we'll take a cab ride uh, for this journey. Just before we do, I'll show you the rest of the network. So we've got St John's Terminus there. All the way back over here, we've got the uh, Douglas in all of its glory before it was butchered. <laughs> uh, we've, 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 we've gone through to Peel. There is another video. You can uh, take the trip to Peel. And uh, I'm currently working on the rest of the Northern Line. So we've got to Kirk Michael and then Balaf up here. Uh, and yeah, I'll be continuing to work on it during the, uh, the COVID-19 lockdown. Anyway, let's make a start. Put the vacuum brakes off. We've got the six empty wagons to take up to collect some spoil. Open the regulator. And off we go. So well, very quickly we hit the 1 in 49 gradient so that we get to a, a high enough altitude to cross the uh, the Douglas line. You'll very quickly notice that my driving skills are uh, very subpar, but hopefully I'll get us there. So here we look to our right, we can see Slawolian at the back of the... Uh, the houses that uh, flank the line. Slowly picking up speed. Apparently, the uh, the kind of it'd be about 25 miles an hour would be a typical speed along the line. So if I can hit that and maintain it, I'll be very happy. So of course, the Foxdale line was built by the uh, the Foxdale Railway Company, which was itself. Um, a creation of the Manx Northern Railway shareholders. They believed it would be the saviour of the Manx. But the Manx Northern Line obviously never really made the money per mile that the, uh, the Alaman Railways did. They thought with the traffic from the mines they'd be able to solve their cash flow problems. Unfortunately, fate put paid to that. So they did have their own company logo as well, with the, which is a 
and Fox. <laughs> Even though it's actually Fox Doll and uh, a, uh, 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 a mistranslation of the English word, which the Manx word, which is Forstall. So first, uh, another point of interest, we've got the main bridge over the, uh, the road, which has lovely been uh, cleared away by a volunteer. So you can now see the stanchions. Of course, the Gerda part has unfortunately been lost. So yeah, reaching uh, 23 miles an hour. That's a pretty good, I reckon. So a big, very overgrown section of line here. And the birds. That's <laughs> making good progress. 23 miles an hour. Of course, the line shut to passengers fairly early on in its existence. But it did see some renewed use during uh, World War II when it was used. The, 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 the deads were used as a source of gravel for, for creating runways. Lovely view over the valley there. I always remember driving in a car on the road here and uh, seeing the track bed and wondering what it would have looked like to see a train travel on there. So when I created this, I've tried to put in as many details as possible. The foliage is the big, the biggest kind of uh, part of it. An awful lot of bushes and trees and things along this route. A lovely walk, actually, when, uh, when we're allowed out. I did manage to walk along the whole route last summer, and it was a lovely day. Still a few little clues that it was a railway in existence. So the odd telegraph pole and fence post. back there imagining uh, imagining what it would have been like of course the, str the, the stream there is uh, quite big compared to what it is in real life but uh, again quite limited by the assets that I could use to recreate this Yeah, that gradient of one in 49 is it's pretty much all the way between St John's and, uh, and Foxdale, following the contours of the valley. And coming up to the, uh, the only halt on the line, which is Waterfalls. Again, it didn't really see much use. There were plans to, uh, I believe there was a loop laid at one point, or there were, certainly were plans for a loop. But uh, definitely taken up at some point and the station building basically used as a permanent way store just uh, passing under the the road to Balanas is it? I think it's Balanas lovely part of the world still there you still see the uh, where they held the telegraph over the bridge which uh, takes the Neb River and this is of course the site of Waterfalls Halt Shortly after that, we've got the f quite a large farm. Did you see the farmer there? <laughs> and this is the access road. This is a quite a uh, familiar view to those of you who might commute between the south and uh, Peel. The bridge is obviously still there. It carries uh, some kind of trunking. I don't know whether it's uh, a drain or... Yeah. Anyway, coming up to the loop bridge. Which obviously carried an advertising for the railway. The road's obviously been redeveloped there, the bridge pulled down, road widened. Quite a substantial stone uh, built up embankment there as well. Thank you to Mike Buttle for pointing that out. I never even noticed it when I was walking along the line. <laughs> quite overgrown, but uh, quite a substantial feat of engineering. So we're on the home straight now. We've crossed the road. It's of course being the road that leads up into Foxdale. Higher Foxdale, I should say. A 
I'll uh, quickly be approaching the back of Brookfield Terrace where my grandfather grew up, Bobby Astle. He remembers vividly uh, the, the trains running with the spoil wagons. He said him and his brother, uh, his brother and sister would come down and put pennies on the line and when the locomotive ran over them it would uh, flatten them into tupneys. <laughs> Of course, uh, when he was travelling to school in Douglas, he had to get the bus because the, uh, the railway was no longer carrying passengers. So you can see the, the quite substantial deads I've decided to leave in. Although it's a modern image, I thought I needed to give a, give a reason for the railway still being there. So the deads are still here. So maybe the mines worked a little bit longer than they did in real life. So we're just pulling into the station. Got a few passengers on the platform there, or a couple of enthusiasts waiting for us to come in. Of course, the station building is still there and really helped um, when I was locating things to, to place them. And that's our journey finished. So I'll just do a little quick quick tour of Foxdale and the surrounding areas. So of course, we've got the station building, which is now the Foxdale Heritage Centre. Got the old water tower, which is unfortunately gone. There are... Uh, Fairly complicated sidings work here for, for working goods up into the over into the mining complexes. So of course that was a, a one in one in twenty incline, I think, or a one in twelve even, which uh, Caledonia was always used for. So I've uh, I couldn't find any kind of good pictures of the mine workings themselves. So I've not done any mining buildings, but the deads are still here. Of course, we've got Costain scrap metal. And the new housing estate. And that's it. So, um, yeah. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed that virtual journey. Um, if you did enjoy it, then there will be more videos of, along the different routes that I'm recreating on this YouTube channel. But for now, I hope you've had a very enjoyable virtual rush hour. I hope you're all staying very safe and well and uh, unaffected by this, this COVID uh, pandemic. And hopefully it'll be over soon enough and uh, we, can, we can have a real rush hour. Ta-ta for now.